about a solution of the QC Yamabe equation on a three Sasaki and methods and the QC Yamabe problem. Take it away. Thank you very much. First of all, I would like to thank Jan for a very kind invitation to, to be again here. And so my talk is uh, based on a joint work with uh, three people, Ivan Minchev, he's here, Alexander Petkov and Dimitar Vasilev. And the problem comes from nonlinear analysis, and, uh, but involves, uh, as we will see, involves um, geometric structure. Uh, so the problem comes from the Fohan and Stein theorem, which uh, says that if uh, one has an um, open set in a Carnot group, so that actually we will deal only with group of groups of Heisenberg type. So there are four groups of he Heisenberg types. So the first one is Rn. This is a Bayesian with uh, <coughs> zero dimensional center. The second one is the complex Heisenberg group, which is, uh, say, CN, CN times R with one dimensional center. The third one is the quaternionic Heisenberg group. Uh, is Hn, <coughs> H is the space of quaternions times imaginary part of H, which is a three with three dimensional centers. And there is one more tonionic, but I will not uh, not uh, concern into tonionic Heisenberg group. And so the Fohan and Stein theorem says that uh, for any group of Carnot group, which is much more complicated, uh, so I will pick for groups of Heisenberg types. Uh, so a hom homogeneous dimension Q, then for any P between 1 and Q, there is this a constant depending only on G, on the group, positive, such that for any function with a compact support, this uh, inequality holds. So here is, uh, uh, so you see these groups have a structure of, uh, oh, say, in the unity, this uh, Rn has zero center. So this has uh, horizontal space, which is more or less Cn. And this group has a horizontal space, which is more or less Hn. And so, but uh, for so x1 and xm is a basis of the horizontal space. So actually, this is a, a this is a differen differential of this function, but only on the horizontal directions, not for these two groups. For R and this is the whole differential. And uh, so the problem is to find the best constant and extremals. So it's known, there is a theorem, that the best constant can be achieved by smooth functions. And uh, so the problem is to find the best constant and uh, find extremals. So the function which, uh, one, which uh, makes this inequality and equality. And so uh, one can write the other Lagrange equations characterizing the non-negative extremals. And so we are interested when P is equal to two, 
and the problem reduces to the solvability of the Yamabe equation. So this is actually this is in some sense sub sub subrimanian Yamabe because uh, this differential. So actually this is the sub Hessian only on the horizontal space. Uh, so I will explain how this can be solved uh, in these two cases and then turn to the Cotinone Heisenberg group. And for a Riemannian space, uh, one can see that uh, this is equivalent to the Yamabe problem. So what is the Yamabe problem? If one has a compact Riemannian manifold and make a conformal change, so the, the question is whether one can make the scalar curvature of a new metric constant. And so it's happened that uh, in this case, the function, the, the conformal factor should uh, satisfy this uh, Yamaba equation. Actually, this Yamaba equation is the same here, because uh, if, one, <coughs> if one put scale equal to zero, and the other scale bar is constant, this is the Yamaba equation for Rn. And so it's well known that uh, how one proceeds with this Yamada problem. One makes the Yamada functional and then makes a Yamada invariant. And uh, the problem uh, in this case can be translated so the, the main strategy is to replace the highly nonlinear Yamaba equation with a system of equation which can be solved. Now this system turns to be for Rn, thanks to the Obata theorem, <coughs> actually using Obata theorem one can, uh, one can show that the Yamaba equation, solution of Yamaba equation are solutions to the problem if one make a conformal change of uh, an Einstein metric and wants the new uh, metric to be Einstein. So this, these two problems are the same. But this needs the, the Obata theorem which says that if one make a conformal change of uh, a Riemannian metric with constant scalar curvature, and one wants the new metric to be again constant, then the new metric should be a, again Einstein. So actually, this uh, says that the Yamada problem and the uh, solution of the mm -hmm. function preserving conformal changes preserving the Einstein condition are the same. And, but this system is much more easier to, to, to solve, and it is known how it's solved. So this theorem, uh, the proof of this theorem, original proof by Obata, relies on a highly non-trivial divergence type formula. What means this? So this means that one should find a one form or vector field which uh, divergence or the co-differential uh, has, a, has a sign, and when one uh, integrate this, but there is no recipe to find this, to construct such a form. And so one integrate, the left hand side is zero, and if the right hand side has a same sign, one gets a lot of uh, information about the problem. So, but. Uh, here it should be noted that the extremals and the best constant can be found here directly, just not involving, uh, involving geometry, remaining geometry, uh, just uh, by methods of nonlinear analysis. So the next, uh, so the next, uh, so this is not very inform informative for uh, solving the problem for the Heisenberg group. But the next uh, example for uh, 
complex Kaiser group is much more give much more lights how one can attack the problem. So um, the problem for complex Heisenberg group was solved by Jerison and Lee involving the CR geometry and the CR Yamada problem. So actually to write down the geometrical structure one just uh, so just is not the right word uh, one replace the Levici Civita connection so first replace uh, Riemannian manifold with a CR manifold then replace the Levici Civita connection with the Tanako Webster connection and then uh, once the horizontal part of its rich tensor to be uh, proportional <coughs> to the horizontal metric and then one reduces the problem of uh, finding that this subremanian Yamada equation uh, to be reduced to a system of equation which can be solved. So the, the same main, main idea but it's much uh, difficult. Difficult. So it's clear that one should prove uh, Obata type theorem. Uh, so let me explain. So uh, this is the same main idea. The very important uh, thing is that the Yamada equation is conformally invariant. So one can, in this case, one can translate the, the Yamada equation on Rn to a Yamada equation on Sn to, uh, to the sphere via the stereographic projection. And so in this way, instead of uh, take care for, the, for a solution at infinity, one considers the solution on a co compact sphere and it's much easier. And so uh, the same idea uh, goes for uh, complex Heisenberg group, CR problem, CR and other problem. So one translate the Yamada equation on the complex Heisenberg group to the Sasakian sphere, CR sphere, via the here the complex stereographic projection is called Kelly transform. And uh, try to do the same to reduce the system to uh, system another system which can be solved. And so uh, Jerison and Lee in '88 uh, proof uh, the Obata CR Obata type theorem, which says that. Uh, so I will go, not go here. In, uh, in details, because uh, so this involves the full CR geometry. But they prove that uh, if one has a contact form of pseudo Hermitian structure, which is proportional to the standard contact form on the unit sphere, which is uh, Sasakian, and uh, one wants the new scalar curvature of Tanaka Webster connection to be again constant, then the new contact form should should be again pseudo Einstein. Pseudo Einstein means that the horizontal part of the rich tender of Tanaka Webster connection should be proportional to the horizontal metric. And so but this uh, in this way uh, so but there is an Lee again find uh, here a highly non-trivial divergence type formula involving, uh, they said, mysterious function depending on the conformal factor and the normal of the horizontal gradient. And so here there is, uh, it's, not, it's still not known conceptual proof of the of Obata theorem. In the, in the Rivenian case, 
uh, Ian Parker found another proof which does not involve the function. And what do you mean, mysterious function? Uh, so you need so to make this divergence type formula, you need to find out a function, put the function in the in the back, in the in the constructing one form, which has divergence or co-differential with the sign. So this function is, uh, so they say, mysterious because more or less there is no explanation how one can construct this function. No a priori, say, physical reason or geometric <coughs> And uh, so, in this in this way, they uh, reduce the this uh, subremanian Yamada equation to the system of equation which which preserves the pseudo Einstein condition. But this is uh, relatively easy to describe this function because Jack Lee in eighty eight uh, shows that. Uh, conformal factors which preserve the pseudo Einstein condition, uh, these are CR pluriharmonic function on M. So this means that there's a restriction on, of uh, holomorphic function on, on the CR case. And then one can formulate the CRM of a problem in the same way, but Everything is subremanian setting using Tanaka Webster connection. And the steps of solving the problem fo uh, follow the remanian Yamabe. Actually, in 89, they prove that uh, uh, Yamabe problem has almost a solution when the CR space is not locally a sphere. So they use here, they use this expansion of the Yamabe functional, and this is, is the chern moser tensor, which measures the deviation of the, uh, of the spherical, whether locally the CR structure is not spherical. And so for non-spherical, Using these formulas, they show that uh, there is a solution. Actually, as in the main <coughs> case, the most difficult part is to, to show the problem on the uh, quotient of the sphere, of spheres. And so, so also they use the chern model theorem, which says that this is uh, the CR structure is uh, spherical if and only if the term was locally spherical, if and only if the term was tensor vanishes. And so, actually, to solve the problem <coughs> on the Corteoni Heisenberg group, we were forced to do the, the whole things, but for uh, this uh, uh, three dimen group with three dimensional center. So one thing is uh, that here Tanaka Webster connection is on this group. This is the flat invariant flat connection, and so this group can be considered from a geometrical point of view as a flat model of, a, of CR geometry, like Rn is the flat model of uh, Riemannian geometry, and so so we so we needed to find the geometrical structure behind with flat model this quaternion uh, Heisenberg group. And so uh, uh, so in the three dimensional center I will skip uh, explanation what is the <coughs> quaternion Heisenberg group. So but briefly this is uh, this group is isomorphic to H n times imaginary part of H and with this group action. So this is uh, useful for people working in analysis 
uh, for geometry, so one can write uh, the structure equation. So here the structure equation are Ti equal to zero. For this group, one has that Di e one D e two n is equal to zero, and D e, say e two n plus one is two times the Keller form of this part of this horizontal space. So this is the Keller form of this horizontal space. And uh, here, the structure e equations are d1, d4, n equal to 0. And there are three more directions. So say d1 is 2 times omega 1, d2 2 times omega 2, d3 is 2 times omega 3. So what is this? So here, this is uh, the horizontal space is uh, foreign dimensional and one has a quaternion hyper hyper hyper, hyper hermitian structure and this uh, one forms are these two forms are the carrier form of this hyper carrier structure so these are the structural equations of uh, quaternion heisenberg and so uh, After this preparation, one can see that the Yamaba equation on the Tony Heisenberg group can be written in this way. And so we try to explore the same main, main idea to find a geometrical structure behind the, this problem and to try to do the, 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 the same thing as in the, as for C, uh, for the CR. And so uh, the geometrical structure behind this problem uh, is the notion of quaternary contact structure. And the Bicar connection, Bicar connection, so this structure arises in the works of Bicar and this arises naturally as the conformal infinity of the quaternionic hyperbolic spaces. And Bicar, and Bicar uh, extract a connection which uh, concerns actually the geometry, this, this type of geometry, which plays the same role as uh, Levici Vita in Riemannian case and uh, Tanaka Webster in a CR case. Uh, and uh, so what is the quaternionic contact structure? So the formal definition is uh, when one looks very carefully on the structure on the quaternionic Heisenberg group and one extracts the, the basic, the essential deformation and <coughs> put in the formal definition. So the quaternionic contact structure. This is the formal definition. So one has a horizontal bundle and uh, around three vertical space such that uh, one has a quaternionic structure on the horizontal space and one has this uh, contact condition which actually say spoils the two two parts of uh, this subliminal second. I skip this. So the basic example of uh, quaternionic contact structure are three Sasaki and manifolds. So three Sasaki and manifold is a manifold uh, so can be defined easily as uh, a space uh, which cone is uh, hyperkett. I skip this. And then, uh, uh, so I skip this part. The important thing, too, is the Bicar connection. So if one has a quaternionic contact structure of dimension bigger than 7, then uh, Bicar shows that there is unique 
supplementary distribution V on H in TM and a linear connection NABLA such that which makes V and H parallel preserves G uh, the metric on hash and quaternionic structure on, on hash. Uh, he describes the torsion in this way. So the important thing is that uh, uh, <coughs> if one has a vertical field, Xi, then T Xi is, uh, makes uh, sense H to H, and uh, this uh, endomorphism, endomorphism uh, belongs to the SPN plus SP1 perpendicular. Actually, this is actually the intrinsic torsion of the structure. One cannot avoid uh, this part uh, of, of, the, of the structure. And so this connection, so I will skip this. So this connection uh, plays the same role as the tanaka webster connection. Also, Bicard describes this vertical field and this uh, vertical distribution, which shows that this is uh, described with these properties. Actually, these are the quaternionic connection one form of his, uh, of his connection. But he shows that this always exists if uh, n is bigger than one. But if n is equal to one, this cannot be true. But if one assumes that uh, this vertical distribution exists, so one has the cup connection in dimension three also. Uh, okay, so then uh, one can describe the quaternionic Kelly transform because uh, actually the Yamaha equation is uh, conformally invariant, but in the sense that uh, the conformal metric one makes a conformal change only on H or in CN. And then uh, one can describe the uh, Kelly transform, which uh, sends the problem to the three second sphere. Uh, I will I'll skip this explanation. And so, uh, important thing is that the Bicard connection is flat on the Cotteroni Heisenberg group. And one can show that if uh, one has quaternionic uh, contact space with a flat Bicard connection, then it locally is isomorphic to the quaternionic Heisenberg group. In this sense, one can consider this geometry as, uh, the, as uh, the, uh, the quaternionic contact geometry as uh, its flat model is the Cotteronic Heisenberg. And then uh, the next step is to show, uh, to, to replace the nonlinear Yamabe with a system of equations on the sphere, the three second sphere, which can be solved. So for these purposes, one has a connection, and so one can play the differential geometry, forming the curvature, uh, studying the torsion. And uh, but since this is a kind of subremanian geometry, all data are given on the on the, the horizontal space H. And so the first uh, uh, thing is to to find the who curvature and the who other things. It's, it's known that this can be done. And uh, so the problem, uh, the <coughs> hope is to replace the Yamada equation with a system equation, a system of equation which preserves this, uh, say, QC Einstein condition on the sphere. 
So for this uh, goal, uh, we needed uh, Obata type theorem. And so uh, uh, so here it was clear that the uh, Yamabe equation, uh, that the, the quaternionic contact scalar curvature obeys this equation. And so if one put the, this equal to zero, one arrives to the Yamada equation on the quaternary Heisenberg group. Uh, so this is written. So uh, this uh, structure seems to be very natural to, uh, to attack the problem for externals and to solve in the Yamada equation. Uh, so one can state the Yamawa quaternionic contact Yamawa equation the same way as Riemannian at CR, making the Yamawa functional and uh, <coughs> Yamawa invariant. And so uh, actually our main result is uh, the quaternionic contact Obata type theorem. So we show so our uh, a result can be stated as so if we have uh, compact locally three manifold uh, so it, it's it's uh, known that uh, three manifold have all of them has constant scalar curvature and so if one make a conformal change of this quaternionic structure, quaternionic contact structure, and wants the new space to have again constant quaternionic contact scale curvature, then the new, the new space should be again uh, QC Einstein or Trisasakian. Before this, we proved that uh, any Trisasakian space has constant <coughs> scalar curvature, and it is quaternionic uh, contact Einstein. And uh, the conformal factor, the function hash, is constant unless the space is the unit Trisasakian sphere. So if the if uh, so, this problem has no non-trivial solution, other otherwise except the, the, the sphere. And so, to so the proof of, the proof of this theorem consists of two steps. So the first step is uh, to write a divergence type formula, which show, which shows that if Eta bar is a constant QC scalar curvature, then the new space should be again locally Trisasakian. So actually, this is the difficult part. <coughs> and uh, for the proof of the second part of the theorem, we show that the smooth function f involved in our diversion formula is an eigenfunction of the subplotion with the smallest possible eigenvalue for n. And this uh, shows actually a geometric nature of f. And then we use the characterization of Trisasakian sphere by its first eigenvalue of the subloplation among all Trisasakian manifolds. We prove this with uh, Petkov and Vasilev. So which says that uh, if uh, the subloplation of uh, any quaternionic contact space uh, reaches the smallest possible eigenvalue for n, then this should be a three-second sphere. And then, <coughs> so the next step is uh, to, we should be uh, 
So these are some corollaries. So if one finds the solution of the Yamaha equation, when can find the Yamaha constant and all the things. I will skip this and explain uh, also find extremals and all solution of the uh, Yamaha equation. But I skip this and explain uh, how we prove the, this theorem. So the divergence type formula and uh, the second part. So the first hint was that we were able to find explicitly all functions on the quaternionic Heisenberg group, which uh, preserves the quaternionic contact uh, Einstein condition. So in this uh, theorem, we show that if we make a conformal deformation of the standard structure on the quaternionic Heisenberg group, and if we want the new structure to be again QC Einstein, then the conformal factor should be of this type. And so the problem is to show that there are no more. Uh, so the problem is to show that these are all solutions to the MRB equation. So we need to do this, we need to butter type theorem. Uh, theorem one, one, which I displayed. And so how one can do this? So using Kelly trans, trans, Kelly transform, we translate the problem to the sphere, which is compact and can apply the horizontal integral, horizontal divergence formula. And to show, in this way, we show that there are no more solutions. So just uh, because I I'm out of time. I just uh, show you the divergence formula we, we found. So the main technical result is uh, this one. So if we have a uh, quaternionic contact structure conformal to a Trisasakian structure, and the new structure has constant scale curvature, then we take the conformal factor H and uh, make this function out of H. And then we prove this uh, divergence type formula. I will not explain this, uh, <coughs> each of these things, so they depend on the torsion. But the important part is that the right hand side of uh, this uh, divergence is, has a sign. Because this Q is 7 by 7 positive definite uh, matrix. So, and so when we integrate, here we get 0. And uh, uh, all the things should be 0 here. And this means that the new structure should be again uh, quaternionic Einstein. And uh, so, so this is the matrix. I will not uh, so to prove the second part of the theorem, we use the infinitesimal deformation of the quaternionic contact structure. And we prove, uh, actually we show that uh, if we have uh, uh, infinitesimal automorphism of the structure, say Q, then the uh, then the subplotion of this function we constructed become an eigenvalue of the subplotion with uh, possible with the small possible <coughs> eigenvalue. So the subplotion of the subplotion is uh, uh, eigenfunction of the subplotion, and then using the, our Lichnerovich-Obata 
Eigen Function Theorem, we see that this is the sphere. And so in this way, uh, we find some, in some sense, some geometrical meaning of this function. What means this? So if we consider the vector field with a vertical part given by this function h, then this uh, vector field is uh, an infinitesimal automorphism of the structure if the, its horizontal part is uh, the uh, actually this is the horizontal part of the gradient of the function f and this can be we find out that the same the same think hold for uh, the CR structure for this CR case and in this case we give uh, some uh, very small uh, geometrical meaning of the mysterious function of Jason and Lee. Here is uh, a bit easier because the vertical part of this uh, CR vector field is dh of psi times psi, and then the horizontal part, uh, part is precisely the uh, differential of horizontal differential, horizontal gradient of this function f. This, of course, does not say how one can construct this function, but uh, some something is given. So my time is over. I Any questions? We have a few minutes before the next speaker. No, it looks all right. Let's give another round of applause to the speaker. You'll have three minutes.